Okay, the big job begins. And here so far, I've managed to get the seat off and the side bracket on the other side. I can't get it up on the center stand because this beast weighs a ton. So we'll come around here. This is the first thing I'm gonna do is the fuel filter. There it is just there. That's the fuel filter. There's the fuel pump just there. And you can see from the grunge down in here, this thing hasn't been opened and cleaned in about two centuries. So the book says just remove it from the clip. Well, that's interesting. Which way up is the clip? We'll see. Okay, fuel tank off, a couple of the side panels off. Um, that gives me access to the air cleaner, except for one screw I've got WD-40 on. That little sucker won't move. Now, if I go back over here, looking down the other side, you can see the fuel filter. I've got that clear. And just below there, just there, you can see the cap for the water reservoir. And there's absolutely nothing in it. Mm. Now this doesn't bode well, so it's got to be half water, half antifreeze, antifreeze mixture. So I'll fill that up and see where it <laughs> where it pours out, if any. But okay, that's all there is to it at the moment. I've packed all the tools away. I'm about to have something to eat. Well, there's the air cleaner off. Air clean the cover. Air clean off. Let me see if I can fish this out of there now. There we go. Just lifts off. Exposes the whole thing, part of the carby. Just rights for the two carbies. So, given that the other one hasn't turned up yet, I'll put that one back in. That can just sit there until the new one turns up. over the top, this fits down in there, that sits on there, got that screw out of course, and that's it, sorry about the wobbling, but that's it until the parts arrive, and God knows when that'll be. Okay, we're down to the carbies, and as you can see I've got the air cleaner off, and I've got paper toweling stuffed in all the holes, there's the holes there, the carby throats. Now I'll take the paper out of this one. You can see the slide in there. That goes up and down. It's a vacuum slide. Now I just sprayed a bit of WD-40 in there to loosen it up a bit. That was quite sticky. Now what I'm going to do is leave this for a moment now because it looks like I've got to take the sides off. But I'm looking down under here and you can see that screw there, that one there holds the carburetor onto the engine. It's like an insulating mm, sleeve, I guess. Quite corroded down there, isn't it? It really does need a, a good clean off. Probably salt from the road, which means I've got to take... This okay, can I your yeah. special friend? Yeah, talking to my special friend, so I've got to take this side panel off. Where are you off to? I'm okay. I'm looking around the other side now and I'm looking down under here to where the carby goes on to the other piston, the other cylinder head. It's really difficult to see down in there. But there is I can get down in there. There's the other screw and the other insulating sleeve. And those screws are rubbish, aren't they? God, talk about rusted. Probably never undo them. But that holds the carburetor onto the sleeve, onto the cylinder head. So, back out of there. Now you can see I've got, I've got um, hand towel paper. Just good old kitchen hand towel stuffed in all the holes including around the other side again where the fuel filter is there's the new fuel filter i'll put that on 
Now these panels have got to come off. That's the only way I can get to that. The only way I can get to that. And carving. Now there's a screw there. Uh, it's a hexagonal Allen key screw. And don't you just know it, because it's a Japanese bike, it's metric. And have I got a metric hex, a metric Allen key to fit that? Of course not. So work stops while I go get an Allen key. But there we go. Big job. And I've got to get those side panels off. I might be able to loosen this other side panel enough just to pull it out of the way. But this one I don't think I will because I've got to get that screw there out. And I can't at the moment. So there we go. Okay, here we are again. Progress on the bike so far. It's just looking down at the engine. I want to show where the carbies are attached to the engine. Now you can see that clamp there. There's a rubber neck goes from the engine on the cylinder head up to the carby. That's on that one there. Now I've got paper stuffed in all the orifices so bugs and spiders and things don't crawl down there. Now on the opposing car, um, carby, now I've got to go right over the top here and down in here somewhere you can see how difficult it is to see there's the there's the opposing carby connection now that's referred to as the isolation or insulation in which it is it's a rubber grommet if you like a rubber tube that goes from the carby to the head now you can see the salt damage on there. I'm not too sure how far to take this but if I've got to get these what do you call them? If I've got to get all these panels off and you can see the the screws everywhere in here and they all connect in various places. I've got the new fuel filter on. I haven't tested the fuel pump yet. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. There's the tap for the coolant reservoir. There's a lot of sort of road grime in there and if I can get all these fairings off, certainly the side ones, I'll be able to uh, fix that. Now I'm not too sure just how desperately dirty the carby is inside. But if I take that one out, you can see the slider there. Vacuum slider. I don't know, I can't see with my big finger in the way. I'll put that back in for the time being. And that's all there is to it. There's the radiator uh, refill. Now I'm back out here. And you can see the fairings that have got to come off. Certainly the front half. I'll see how many screws are involved in the second half. I've got the front brakes hanging via a piece of wire and you can see the wire there so they're not hanging on the on the brake tube itself theoretically it's hanging on that and not the tube and the same on the other side now I've got screwdrivers in between the brake pads to stop the very worn out pads sliding through the bolts back in there so I don't lose them that one too hanging on a piece of wire so the pressure's not on the um, on the hoses themselves. Now that's the front. So to do the carby. New air cleaners, air filter has arrived. I'll put that in. That's all go. So the carby's the main deal at the moment. The carby and the brakes. Any other thing that's a bit of an issue could be this exhaust pipe there's quite a crack there and whether that's crack or just rust I don't know I'll probably end up having to replace that but salt damage is really bad 
So it pays to wash your bike down when you come home off the road. Okay, that's as far as we can go today. I can't get the fairing off because there's an Allen key there, but it's metric of course, and I have got some metric tools on the way. I've got that's the last bolt on this side, but nothing will move. That's as solid as a rock on there, so there's obviously other screws holding it in place that I haven't found yet. So let's have a look and see how far we get. But I think that's all I'll do today. Okay, there's the cowling off that side. Came off fairly easily, except for that one there, which you access from underneath. Tricky little bugger that one is. A couple there, and a pop in the hole type one there. Now, that leaves a lot of access to the engine and to the various bits I've got to get at. And around the other side, what we've got here, is the similar thing on this side but I had to drill that one out because it had been broken before the cowling was broken broken in a line along there but the cowling's off I can replace the cowling without too much difficulty that lets me get to the radiator which is a bit of a leak there and some very rusty screws jeez so I can replace all that while I'm at it Drop all the water out. Goodness knows it probably needs it. And in theory, I should be able to get to the to the uh, front to the side carby under there somewhere. Oh, that's light under there. But anyway, that's the cowling off both sides. Still no major damage that I can see. I think it's taken a couple of knocks in its life. It's had the cowling off once before and somebody's lost the screw. Because that there, I'll find my way back to it, is a threaded, a threaded screw. Now the one on the other side has also been a threaded screw. But what I'm gonna have to do threaded nut shall we say is um, a little thread making tool and make a new thread for that or simply buy a complete new bracket from a spare bike okay that'll do it for today Covers okay, back. while we're videoing this just give you a quick look at the broken you can see that's popped out of there smashed across there Well, broken anyway, and cracked up there. So, whoops, and there's, there's the other cow in there falling all over the place. It's not the best place to store all this, but there you go. Sitting on top of my wine gear. And there's seats and various other bits there. But that's the bit that's gonna be difficult. I wonder if I can just get that replacement. We'll see.